Welcome everyone, Eric Tatunjan with Organize and Prepare here. Uh, today's video is going to be about uh, building an EDC kit, an everyday carry. Something that uh, I've spent the last year or so, maybe more, a couple years building. Uh, I've built several of them to uh, handle any situation that I might find myself in. I have found myself in many situations before where I uh, didn't have certain tools or items or hygiene items, dental floss, uh, contact lens solution, flashlight, I mean, all kinds of things where you find yourself in these certain situations over the years and it's a pain in the butt. Um, a minor, you know, something minor could turn into a catastrophe. And that's uh, prompted me to build a few kits over the years um, to prepare for these situations because um, we, the old motto is prepare for the worst, hope for the best. You hope you never have to use any, you know, use any of this stuff, but you never know when the time arises and you, uh, you might need something simple to, uh, like I said, turn a catastrophe, possible catastrophe into, you know, minor situation, no big deal, something you can handle. Um, I'm going to show you my EDC kit, what I carry in mine, um, before I go any further, uh, subscribe to my channel like the video, um, comment below, tell me what you, uh, what you like about the video, don't like, if, uh, if you have a kit and you have uh, something in yours that I'm missing, comment, let me know. Um, I'd love to put it in mine if I feel that I need it. If I have something in my kit that you're missing and you said, oh wow, I didn't think of that, you know, let me know. Um, I'm going to link to my website where you can build, build your own kit, uh, organizeandprepare.com. You can, uh, there's a link on there where you can go through and pick out items and build your own kit. Um, you can buy a pre-built kit. I've purchased several pre-built kits over the years and, you know, they have, sometimes they have stuff in them you'll never use or they're missing it's a key item that you're like, you know, I need that in my kit. Um, they're more economical you can, than building your own kit and they're good for beginners, but uh, I personally like to customize my kits. I've got several of them. I have a hygiene kit. Um, with hygiene products, you know, contact lens solution, deodorant, toothpaste, stuff like that. Uh, I'll do that in another video. I'll go over that. Um, I'm in the process of uh, building one for my kids, you know, a, a kid kit that, uh, you know, stuff that they would need in certain situations. I believe everybody in your household should have their own personal kit with the stuff in it they need. And um, so we're going to go, I'm going to go through mine and... Um, see if it helps you out, hopefully. Um, see if there's stuff, like I said, that you didn't think of. And uh, we'll go through my kit now and see what you think. Okay, first of all, probably the most important thing is, is getting the right pouch, the right kit, the right bag. Um, I personally love the Maxpedition Beefy Organizer, Pocket Organizer. These things are great. They're tough, they're strong, they're rugged. They have a ton of room, ton of pockets. They're neatly organized. They come in multiple colors. I've got a green one, a black one, a khaki one. One for each, you know, each uh, situation that I that I prepare for. These things are amazing. Um, I highly, highly recommend them. I've seen pouches and bags. I've gone through many of them over the years, and and this is this is by far my favorite uh, favorite kit, favorite pouch. Um, so let's go through and see what I've got in here. First, uh, I don't think I need to explain this. Uh, compass. You, uh, we all have GPS on our cell phones. We have, you know, we have a, a GPS in our cars. You know, mine's on my rearview mirror. It tells you what direction you're going in. But, you know, what happens in a situation your car dies? You're stranded in the middle of the night. Your car dies. Your cell phone's dead. You don't know where the hell you are, you know? Compass is, you know, we don't all get stuck in the wood, in the woods in the middle of nowhere. But, I mean, you just never know. A compass is, a, can be a lifesaver. I've also got, well, again, something I don't really need to explain here, a flashlight. We all have flashlights on our cell phones. Again, what happens if your cell phone is dead and you need a light? Well, mini flashlight, bright. Durable, can't go wrong, you always, you always need a light. Speaking of light, big lighter. 
Um, Nick, lighters are tough. I've got thousands of lighters here. Um, all different brands and everything, and Bic seems to be the best. I've actually, uh, me and my son go metal detecting all the time. I found Bic lighters buried in the sand, rusted, who knows how long they've been there, and they still work. Um, very, very strong, durable lighters. Um, and, you know, you, you always try to do redundancy. You know, multiple, multiple tools for the same use, for multiple uses. I got a magnesium fire starter. Uh, you never know when you get stuck in the woods and you and you need to light a fire. You tr if you if you know how to use the fire starter, great. If you don't, well, we we've got a lighter here to back it up. Uh, your Carmex lip balm. Find your I go out in the sun all the time and my lips get burned. This is great for great for sunburn on the lips. Uh, it's also a good fire starter. You know, I've got right here. I've got three small items right here. They can help me f start a fire and eat, keep warm. Uh, I got a survival whistle. Um, you know, never know when you're stranded. You got to, you know, signal for help. Um, ladies, if you're in a situation where you uh, can possibly be, you know, kidnapped or, you know, hurt, you know, draw attention to yourself. Pocket knife. I mean, we we all expected to, to see that. I've got I got hundred pocket knife, po hundreds of pocket knives here at my house. I've got one in every one of my kits and my go bags and you know everywhere. They're great. They have you know multiple uses. Self defense, cutting, shelter. I mean, what, it can be used as a tool. You never know. Pocket knives are great. I carry them with me all the time. I uh, highly recommend you check the laws in your state or country where you live because I've heard of certain places where, <coughs> excuse me, pocket knives are, you know, being banned or, they, you know, can be, can get arrested for carrying a pocket knife. So before you do, check the laws of your state or country that you live in. Uh, Sharpie kind of goes along with my pen, which also acts as a glass breaker. You get stuck in your car. You gotta break the glass to get out. Uh, you find somebody in an accident, they can't get out of the car, you have to break their glass to get it to get out. It's great. You find yourself in a real bad situation, you gotta find some shelter, you know, break a glass to an abandoned building to get in, or whatever you have to do. It's a great little tool. And a notepad, because you know, you never know when you have to take notes, you know, write down directions. Um, you, you never know when you'll need to write something down. I've also added some zip ties, um, you know, they can come in handy. Heck, you zip a couple of them together, you, you make a, you know, somebody's bleeding or something, you can use it as a tourniquet, um, use it to tie something down. I mean, there's, there's a million uses that you can use them for, and sometimes you won't know until you find yourself in that situation, and you say, oh, I've got a zip tie for that. Uh, I also have a multi-tool. I've got, i got 50 of these laying around the house. Big ones, small ones. I chose to put this small one in this kit. It's got a little mini plier. It's got a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, bottle opener, a mini knife. Um, these things are great. Multiple uses, multiple tools to handle multiple situations. Uh, Swiss Army knife. Actually, I've had this since I was a kid. Um, probably my first... Probably my first knife I ever got. It's got a few knives on it. It's got a bottle opener, a screwdriver. I think it's got a nail file on it. Again, three knives, four knives, multiple situations. You, you lose one, you, you got backups. Paracord. Uh, man, there's a hundred uses of these. Look up, uh, look up Google paracord uses. It has a belt, shoelaces, uh, building shelter. Um, Tying stuff down. I mean, you can. There's a hundred things you can use with them. You can pull out the little fibers on the inside and use them for heck dental floss. You never know. Uh, let's see. I also have a paracord bracelet in here. Just more paracord. Uh, I like to wear it sometimes. It's a small item. Uh, it's just more paracord. A couple band aids I threw in here for. Uh, minor situations, you know, I have another, you know, I got my first aid kit that I carry in my go bag that 
uh, you know, for more pressing emergency situations, got everything in it, but you know, a couple band-aids in this, you know, something simple as a paper cut or a small cut. You can patch yourself up real quick. Also had a few paper clips, safety pins. Uh, you ever have a splinter? Can't get the splinter out. Safety pins are great for that. God, I've, I grew up <laughs> as a kid. I remember as a kid, that's how I learned how to get splinters out. You burn the end of a safety pin, sterilize it, get your splinter out. Also had a couple other things, a glow stick. Um, you need light. You don't want to burn out the light in your flashlight. Uh, crack, the, crack the glow stick. Uh, tie some paracord around you as a necklace. Walk around with it and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully somebody will find you. Uh, lotion. Uh, you got some sunburn or something. Lotion's good. You can use it as a, you know, more fuel to start a fire. It's a great little thing to have. Uh, added a bandana. Great for you get cut, you get hurt, you gotta stop the bleeding. Act's great, act like a tourniquet. Uh, I'm in Florida where it's 95 degrees in the summertime. Wet it, put it around your head, keep yourself cool, keep the sun off your face. Great little tool here. Um, all this stuff right here, I mean most of the stuff I already had around my house. If you have to purchase any of this stuff, I've got links on my website to where you can go to Amazon and, and purchase them. Including the, the 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 pouch. I mean, you're talking less than a hundred bucks here. I mean, if you can if you can swing a hundred bucks, seventy five hundred bucks, to uh, get yourself out of a situation that can be deadly or super inconvenient, which could be even more costly. I mean, it's worth it. Always plan for the for the worst, hope for the best. We you never know what's going to happen anymore nowadays. You know, just turn on the news. It's it's scary to think. The possibilities, of, if you see what these other countries going on in these other countries, it's, it's scary to think if that can happen here. Now, this is just something small to get you through every day. But, you know, uh, the, build on this. Build yourself a kit and then just build from there. Build a food storage, a water storage. I've got articles, a link to my website, blog posts of, of how to do all that. Um, speech in which, I got a redundancy. I got another little mini flashlight here, a little keychain flashlight on here. I mean, the possibilities are endless with this thing. You could pack it. You pack so much stuff in here, and it's a couple pounds. A uh, couple other things I've added here. I've got this little credit card sized little multi tool. Uh, it's a great little thing to have. Redundancy. Let's see. It's got a it's got a can opener on it, a knife edge. It's got a screwdriver. It's got a ruler on here. It's got a cap opener. It's got little wrenches here. A saw blade. Um, it's got a little hole here you can tie it, you know, tie your paracord through, use it as a keychain or a uh, necklace or whatever. Just another, I mean, look how thin this is. This thing's tiny. You can slide it anywhere in here. Why would I not throw it in here? You never know. Never know when I might need something simple as that. <sighs> Carry my NRA membership card. Um, good thing to have. Um, I have, you know, several copies of them. I keep one in all my ADC kits. Just to have, I printed out a cheat sheet. You know, you, you might find yourself in a situation where you can't use Google, or Google's not available, where you don't have a network or data, or you know, there's the power grid goes down or something. So I printed out a couple cheat sheets. I've got a knot tying cheat sheet here. How to tie certain knots. You never know. You might find yourself stuck somewhere when you got to tie a knot. I also have carry a little Altoids can with a little uh, fishing kit in it. You know, I got hooks in there, a couple lures. Um, uh, some fishing line, and uh, you know, I got a little knot tying, fish, how to tie fishing knots, you know. When, when you're in a situation, unless you practice this all the time, you get in a situation, you know, a pressure situation, you, you might you might lose your mind and not, have, not know how to tie a knot. A little cheat sheet here could, could save your life. I got a couple of those in here. Look, it's a piece of paper folded up, takes up no space. Um... A little mini screwdriver flathead. I added this. I wore contacts and I have glasses, so this is good to repair my glasses. I uh, just added that. It takes up no space. Why would I not add it? Um, you know, you look at this, the average person could look, as, look at this and say, I don't need any of that, or what is all that stuff? Um, find yourself in a situation one day where, you know, you might need an emergency whistle. 
or a compass or something that you might think is silly. Um, and uh, when, when, when push comes to shove, you know, you learn how to use any resource you have available. Um, any, any of these can have multiple uses to where you would think you would never use it. And um, I've been in a situation several times where I wish I had one of these years ago. Well, I'll make sure I have them now. Um, and one of, one of the other things I carry with me that I... So another, again, an old piece of paper takes up no space. I carry it in my truck with me, in all my kits, in my go bag. I have a copy of my wallet. Um, probably the most important thing that you will you can have. Copy of the Bill of Rights. All right? Copy of the Bill of Rights. Know your rights. Know what you can and can't do. Know what what the what the police, law enforcement, government can and can't do to you. Um, unreasonable search and seizures. You get pulled over. Know your rights. That is the most important thing. The government is trying to infringe upon our rights every day. We're slowly they're they're slowly trying to take our rights. We're slowly losing them. Know what. Know what your rights are. That is the most important thing. Knowledge is power. And it can save your life. So, I suggest printing out a little copy of it, putting it everywhere you go. Everywhere. I carry one everywhere. So, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you can add to your kit. Help. Maybe this will make you build a kit. Um, like I said, comment... Uh, tell me if I'm missing something. Again, I, I've got several kits. I might have it in my in another kit. I'll do another video on my hygiene. I call my hygiene kit. Um, I'll do a video on that too. And there might be stuff in there you guys will, might never thought to carry one. Um, I'm once I'm finished building my uh, kit for my kids, uh, EDC kit for my kids. Um, I'll do a video on that too, just so you can see. And then I just, I keep all these pouches in my bag, in my go bag, my bug out bag. I carry my, my go bag everywhere I go. My small backpack fits all this stuff in here and then, and then some other stuff. And it's great. Um, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Again, uh, check out my website, organizeandprepare.com. Uh, check out the links, read the articles, um, comment. Um, I don't know everything. You might have amazing information that will help me. Um, prepping is a journey. It's not a destination. We're constantly learning, constantly evolving. And um, I, I believe we need to work together. I believe we can all help each other. Don't be the 80% that's unprepared. Um, as a human civilization, we need to survive, we need to live on, we need to work together, because you never know what's going to happen in the next 5, 10 years, 20 years. Think of yourself, think of your family, think of your kids, and um, good luck to you. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, happy building, happy organizing, happy preparing. Uh, Eric Tatunjan, out.